All right. So I vaguely remember that the My Little Pony logo type has a heart around the My. And so I kind of like the idea of having a heart here that then transitions to the end of the rainbow to a skull. And that's kind of the theme of my spot illustration, right? Like the donkey has a heart that transitions into a skull like on it. So I could find kind of clip art of a heart like I did for the skull and kind of work with that. Or I can just use the blob brush, which I haven't used in a while, lock these other layers, put a new layer on top, and start painting with the blob brush. A nice little heart. Right. And then, just to show you, you can always just make your own elements. That's fairly clean. I'm going to use the pencil to clean it up a little bit more. Smooth it out. All right. Now, I'm going to show you something I haven't been able to show you yet in Illustrator. This applies to logos, it applies to everything else. But for those of you doing symmetrical things, so what if I wanted my heart to be perfectly symmetrical? Let me just make a copy of it and show you. I did my best to draw it. It didn't work, right? It's not perfectly symmetrical. So I hit uh, Command-C to copy it, Command-V to paste it. I have a new one to play with, right? So now what do I do? I'm going to use the eraser and cut it in half, not quite at the half mark. Let it overlap a little bit, right? Then I can use the small selection tool to take off one half. Then I can use the large selection tool to rotate it to get it vertical. I can even use a guide if I have my rulers turned on, right? Command R. I can find the center and then I can duplicate it again. Command C, edit, paste in place. And then I can do object, transform, reflect. This is like flip horizontal, right? Say OK. Hold down shift so it stays in place. And I can make that heart perfectly symmetrical. But there's a few more steps that are necessary. This is the problem solving, kind of the pain of Illustrator. For one thing, guides, I can't just toggle them on and off. Actually, I can. I can toggle them on and off with command semicolon, but guides are linked to layers in Illustrator. So a guide is also going to be its own layer, which is kind of annoying and interesting at the same time, because you tend to use guides a lot in Illustrator if you're going for, for clean symmetry. But the problem is these are two different paths, right? So I need to link them together. And before I do that, I might nudge them a little bit. And the closer I zoom in, just like in Photoshop, the smoother the nudge will be. Okay, then I need to select them both. Hold down Shift and Command. Select both of these overlapping paths. And then use the Pathfinder to merge them, just like, like I did with the M and the Y to make it one solid shape. And then I can redraw whatever needs to be redrawn with the Pencil tool. Trying to keep it as symmetrical as possible, right? Or even better yet, I can just use the pen tool and the delete anchor part of the pen tool and just get rid of these anchors and then get rid of the curves by dragging them back to the bottom. And this way it makes sure, because I'm not drawing or adding anything, that they're perfectly the same. Same thing with the bottom. I'll use the delete anchor point tool. And then I'll use the small selection tool to get rid of or to draw back these handles. So these curves aren't really a thing anymore. And then because they're centered on this anchor point, now I'm safe moving this down and making the little point of the bottom of my heart. 
and I'm safe with this one moving, moving that down a little bit. There we go. So now I have a heart I can use. That's all one path and it's perfectly symmetrical. That's true of any illustration you want to be perfectly symmetrical. You can do the copy, the pathfinder, the reflect. So now I have to decide, well, which heart do I want? And if it's perfectly symmetrical, it can be tightened up. You just need to make sure the whole thing's selected. I can tilt it. I can run it behind. That's kind of what I was thinking. What if I want to fill in the white space behind it? Well, what I do then is I lock that layer. I make a new layer behind it. Drag it in behind. I draw with the pencil tool just within my line work. It's just like flatting in Photoshop, except I don't have a magic wand tool I can use. And then I fill that with the color I desire. I like the built-in color for the color options, just the white, black, or empty. Right. And then I have those two as a vector mapped together, and then I can move it behind my text, but on top of my rainbow. Right. And then I might shrink my my a little bit, which is within my text assets, I believe. Yes, there it is. And we're getting there. Now, actually, I don't like this all that much. I'm going to reverse it. So what's beautiful about a vector is that it's all in different paths. So I can turn the heart path. I can change it from being white to being black. I can change the heart itself from being black into being white. I can change the stroke from being white to being black, and then I can change the, the fill from being black to being white. Like that. So I can see how that looks. Now, what if I want another outline around the my. So what if I want to give it two strokes? So this is how you do that. I select it. Right now it's got a fill and a stroke. I'm going to say object path outline stroke. So just like you can outline the, uh, the typeface, create outlines out of a typeface, you can create outlines out of your stroke and turn it into a fill path, which I always recommend. And then outside of that, I can give that fill path its own stroke. <laughs> Let's make it white. And then I can outline that stroke, object, path, outline, stroke. So I'm just getting lots of other fill paths. Gives me lots I can work with. So this middle one, I have to kind of find it. It can be tricky. Where am I here on the my? This is where I get lost in Illustrator. Just all these different options. Okay, I want to find the 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 wide one. There it is. All right, I want to make that black, and then I want to move that. It's in here, in this my group. 
I want to move that, let's see, underneath, or maybe copy it, put it on a new layer, edit, copy in place, paste in place. And then I want to move that layer down below. I spend a lot of my time in Illustrator Y, you know, trying to problem solve things like this and get what I want. And then I need to delete it from the My layer. So while I have it, I'm going to lock this, try to find it again using the small selection tool. Come on, where is it? I want the inside one. All right, let's see. My heart. So there. So I want to try that filled with white. See if that shows up. Almost outside of the black, not quite. I need to extend the stroke a little bit further on this one. And now it should show up. There we go. Whew. Okay, so that was a, a long walk, right? <laughs> to get a double stroke on it. And I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, because it's just a little too fussy. Well, I don't know, maybe I like it. We'll see. What I can do is I can um, merge all those together. Don't lie to yourself, Carl. Don't say you like because you don't want to do the work. I don't want to do the work. What I'm going to try is to select them, shift and command, and then just shrink it and tilt it a little bit. And then I'll like how little space it has around it. Maybe like that. I'm liking that more. So even though there are all these different, different layers, you know, it can be useful. And at any time I can augment it and make that stroke maybe a little bit bigger. And that helps. That's too big. I think two is about right. Yeah, I was trying some offsets. Okay, so now the donkey part. <laughs> Save it. Ah, okay. So this should be fairly straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and lock these, make a new text asset or new layer asset over the top. Use my type tool, type in donkey all in capitals but the y i want it to be the mlp example which gives me the really big tailed y and i think with the n maybe i'll try the other type just the regular MLP. Strange. I don't know why it keeps defaulting back to 12. I don't remember Illustrator doing that in the past. But, but this allows me to, to play with these a little bit. Just working between these two slight variations. And again, I don't know why it goes back to 12. forces me to mess with it. 